everybody, my name is Devani Anastasia and I'm a resin artist, a YouTube creator, and a Magic Resin brand ambassador. Today I'm going to be showing you how to use Magic Resin's tabletop and coating epoxy resin to coat and seal a painting. This will create a smooth, glassy surface and it will also protect and seal your painting. Now this can be used for a number of other projects as well, including tabletops, coasters, jewelry, and keychains, just to name a few but today I'm going to be demonstrating how to use it to coat your paintings. So I'll take you down to my studio and let's get started. Before we get started, it is important to note that the temperature of the room and the resin should be no less than 75 degrees Fahrenheit or 24 degrees Celsius. Lower temperatures may result in an imperfect cure. If your resin is cold, we suggest placing the bottles of resin and hardener in warm water to heat them up. If the room is cold, you can use a space heater to raise the temperature. These are all the materials that I will be using today to demonstrate how to coat your painting in resin. So first of all, I do have the painting that I will be coating. Uh, it is 11 inches by 14 inches. I have a piece of cardboard back here that I will be using to cover my work. I have a level to ensure that my surface is level. I have a one gallon kit of Magic Resin's tabletop and art epoxy. I have a silicone measuring cup and a silicone mixing stick. I have disposable gloves. I have a torch for getting rid of the bubbles. And lastly, I have bathroom cups and I will show you how I use those to ensure my surface is level. The first step is to prepare your workstation and your painting for pouring. Now, when we pour the resin, we will have to allow the resin to drip off the sides. So for that reason, I have covered my tabletop with black plastic garbage bags to protect the tabletop. And I have also covered the floor with cardboard boxes, just in case any drips off the table and onto the floor. The other thing that you'll want to prep is the painting. So I have chosen not to put resin on the edges of my painting. I want to keep that just plain white canvas and only pour the resin on top. So I have sealed off the edges with blue painter's tape and also the back side because the resin will drip down and it will drip onto the bottom. So you want to make sure that the bottom is also taped so that you don't get any hard pieces of resin stuck there. Next, you will wanna make sure that your surface is level because resin is self-leveling. And if you want an even pour across your painting, you will wanna make sure that the surface is perfectly level. So what I do is I have my level right there and I like to prop this up on bathroom cups. If you want it to be propped up a little bit higher, you could use solo cups or other types of cups, but I like to use bathroom cups just cause they're cheap. And I have two under each corner right now. So then I can use my level and I can check, see it looks like this side needs to be lifted up a little bit. So I'll take a couple more bathroom cups and put two here and two here. Check again. Oh, looks like that was a little too high. So maybe we didn't need two, maybe just one. There we go, we're perfect. And then we check this way. We could lift this side a little bit more. And that looks perfect. So now we're ready to get started. To begin, put on gloves to prevent your hands from getting any resin on them. For this project, an 11 inch by 14 inch painting, I will be using 100 milliliters of part A and 100 milliliters of part B of Magic Resin's tabletop and art epoxy. So that equates to a total of 200 milliliters. So I will start with part A and measure out 100 milliliters. And 
and 100 milliliters of part B. For a total of 200 milliliters. Now I will mix slowly by hand for four to five minutes. It is important to mix slowly to prevent bubbles from forming. As you're stirring, make sure that you scrape the sides and scrape the bottom. After mixing for four to five minutes, your mixture should be completely clear and part A and B should be 100% combined. Now it's time for you to pour. You now have 30 minutes of working time, meaning that after 30 minutes from this point, you should no longer be manipulating the resin. Now it's time for us to pour the resin onto our painting. So I have the sides all taped, it's propped up. Our resin has been mixed for four to five minutes and I have 30 minutes of working time. So what you'll want to do is you'll want to pour the resin into the middle of your painting. And you do not want to scrape the sides of your mixing container. So there will be some resin left on the inside of your container, along the walls and along the base of the container, but we're not gonna scrape it. We're just going to leave that to harden in the bottom of the container. Now you can use your mixing stick to gently push the resin across your painting. I have used just enough to pour about a quarter inch thickness of resin over top of my painting, which is exactly what we want here. We don't wanna pour more than a quarter inch. And keep in mind, as long as your surface is perfectly level, all of this resin should perfectly fill in the canvas. Okay, so my painting is fully coated. And what we can do now is we can take our torch and if there are bubbles along the surface, I can now torch those bubbles to get rid of them. If I am using a torch, it's important that I hold it a couple inches away from my painting. Uh, we don't want it too close because that can burn the resin and it's also important that I continuously move it and I don't hold it in one spot for too long. Otherwise that can also burn the resin. So I'll demonstrate here. So now we can wait another 10 minutes or so and we'll check back and see if any more bubbles have risen. If they have, we can run the torch over it again. Okay, so it has been about 25 minutes now. I've torched the resin a couple times and gotten rid of all the bubbles. So now I'm just going to set up the spray paint can around my painting and I'm going to cover it with my cardboard to prevent it from getting dusty. And now I will come back when it's finished. It is important that you do not attempt to wash your resin down the drain as it can harden and permanently clog your drains. What we suggest instead is to allow the resin to harden and then dispose of it once it has cured after 24 hours. For that reason, we suggest using a silicone measuring cup and a silicone mixing stick like the ones you see here. And then once it is cured, you can simply peel the resin out of the cup and dispose of it after 24 hours. You can find these measuring cups and mixing sticks on our website under accessories. And then once you've removed the resin, you can reuse the cup for your next project.
there we go. All cream. And as we mentioned earlier, resin is very sticky, so it's important that you cover your work surface and that you wear gloves on your hands to protect your skin. But if by chance you do get a little bit of resin on your skin or on another surface, you can remove it using isopropyl alcohol. So this is essentially rubbing alcohol. This is 91%, but you can use 99% or 70% or whatever you have. And you can just put it on your hands to remove the resin. So it has been a couple days and my painting is fully cured now. The resin will be cured to the touch after 24 hours and it will be fully cured after three days. If you are making something like a tabletop or a coaster, we do recommend waiting a full seven days before placing any items on it to ensure that it is completely cured and scratch proof. Now, if you would like to do another pour, Make sure you do so within the four to 10 hour range. Otherwise you will need to sand down the entire surface with 180 or 220 grit sandpaper before the second pour to ensure that it adheres properly. However, I have decided to just go with one single pour. So I am complete here. So once you're satisfied with your painting, you can carefully remove the tape from the sides and voila, you will be done. And the final step, now that our painting is complete and our resin is cured, is to hang it on the wall. And voila, we're done. Thank you so much for watching today. We love to see all the projects that you guys create. So if you decide to make a painting of your own with magic resin, please feel free to tag us on Instagram, at magicresinofficial.